Sensitronic Brake Control, or SPC for short, is an electro-hydraulic brake system. With the SPC, the driver's braking instructions are transferred by electrical impulses to a microcomputer. This computer processes the different sensor signals and computes the optimal brake pressure of each wheel depending on the driving conditions. Therefore, the SPC offers greater active safety than conventional brake assemblies when braking on slippery roads or sharp turns. Furthermore, the maximum brake pressure is available faster due to a high-pressure reservoir and electronically adjustable valves. The SPC is activated in many different ways, for example by operating the parking brake. In regular intervals, the system carries out a self-check, i.e. the system checks itself. In order to prevent this check and the automatic disengaging of the brake piston while you're working on the system, the SPC self-check can be deactivated. Raise the vehicle on a lifting platform. The wheels may not touch the ground. And make sure all electrical consumers are off. Remove the key from the ignition. But before doing so, open the side window as you'll later need access to the ignition. Now close all doors and centrally lock the vehicle for at least 30 seconds. This allows time for the brake system to power down. Keyless go cards or keys must be kept outside the transmitter range. Now unlock the vehicle for at least 15 seconds. Subsequently lock the vehicle again. The self-check is now deactivated. Be sure to keep the key in a safe place because the vehicle may not be unlocked under any circumstances during the work on the brake assembly. Now because the self-check is deactivated, it's now safe to work on the brakes. And you can exchange the brake pads or discs. When the work is finished, raise the vehicle again on a lifting platform. And the application routine is started. Unlock the vehicle now once again. Then reach through the open window and switch on the ignition. Then switch off the ignition again, wait 5 seconds and switch the ignition on again. Now on the driver's side, turn the rear wheel forwards for at least 3 seconds. Turn the wheel with a speed of 1 to 2 revolutions per second and bring it to a stop. A maximum of 60 seconds after the rear wheel, the front wheel is next. It must be turned with an approximate speed of 1 to 2 revolutions per second until it stops independently. The tail light will flash 3 times to confirm the activation. The application routine is started and the front and rear brake pads are applied several times. Now lower the vehicle again. And switch the ignition off. Now start the engine and press the brake pedal about 5 to 10 times. If no fault messages appear in the display, then the application routine was successful. If a fault message should appear, however, then repeat the activation of the application routine. If necessary, select the fault memory with the star diagnosis. Now check the level of the brake fluid in the reservoir. Once the fluid level is correct, then the work is completed.